Welcome to My Hometown, the program that explores clubs, organizations, businesses, and issues across Nassau and Suffolk counties and sheds light on the different towns that are making a difference. Hello and welcome to My Hometown. My name is Bill Horan, along with my co-host, Nassau Community College student, Stacy Rain. Bill, I heard that you are an avid reader. Is that right? Absolutely. On my other show and podcast called Secrets of Success, I interview authors every week, and I always read their book from cover to cover, every word. Me too. I'm a huge bookworm. And that's why I am so excited about our guest today and surprised actually that I haven't heard of her yet. I'm so excited about this this discussion today. She has an online group that she created from an idea she had sitting in a beach cabana that has now grown to over 50,000 members on Facebook. So she's got an online reading group. I hear it's called Renee's Reading Club, and the creator is with us today. This is Renee Weingarten from Atlantic Beach. Renee, welcome to my hometown. Excited to be here. So let's talk about how this idea came to you under a um, a beach cabana. I want to know so much about this. Wow. Well, okay. Um, yeah. Pa- paint a picture for us. Tell us how it began. Okay. The, so here the picture is. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm on the beach, and one of the things that happens to me daily, because uh, I have an oceanfront cabana that faces the ocean, and you have to walk by my cabana to get onto the beach. So, and obviously, I'm always reading. So I'm the person that everybody comes to for book suggestions, uh, whether it was at work or the gym or or the beach, I'm that person. So I'm sitting there one day and I said to my friend next to me, I said, you know what, I think we're going to start an online reading club and put my book recommendations there. And I did just that that day. And I had a very cute cabana boy that took <laughs> some pictures of me sitting there with my book, which I posted with my you know blurb about the, the reading club. And it was July 2017. And I started the club, and at that point, it was just, you know, friends and things that, that like that that joined. And slowly, it just went crazy. I mean, it just uh, grew and grew and yeah, grew. 50,000 members. Yeah, wow. and it's uh, it's been amazing. I mean, it's I, it, we like you said, we just hit 50,600 members, and it's it's been great. And it's amazing the people I've met, the authors I've met, and how it continues to grow. You know, Renee, you're very modest in talking to you before the show. You were just talking about 50,000 members. <laughs> like, this is a full baseball stadium we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> I, I, You know, it is hard to fathom because, I mean, we'll get to, you know, pandemic time a little bit later. But I know at the beginning of the pandemic, I had – we were reaching 10,000 people. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, that was like a, a thing for me. And I, I remember when I started the club, I was like, well, there's a few other reading clubs out there. They have like 2,000 members, 4,000 members. I said – Maybe one day I'll get to that, like that number. And then all of a sudden I was like at 10,000. I was like, and you get, when you get to these levels, like you're happy at that level. And I said, okay, if I get like 15,000, that's fine. I don't need more, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it just like, but it is, it is an unbelievable number. Stacey, I'm not going to tell Renee, but between you and me, I think she's like the Taylor Swift of book people. <laughs> <laughs> what's more amazing, she doesn't know it. So don't tell her. Okay, well. We're not, we're not going to say okay, don't, don't tell me, don't not, tell I'm, me. We're not going to tell you. Now, what's your background? Tell us a little bit that you got into Okay, this. so I, I did go to library school. I have my master's in library science. Um, right out of when I graduated, I was working in Rockville Center Library as a children's librarian. Worked there for a couple of years, and then I started a family. Um, then I went back part-time. And then in 1990, I made the switch from public libraries to school libraries. And that job I stayed at in an early childhood center for over 25 years. So it was in uh, 2017 when I retired from the school after 20, and it was, I was working with children. So at that point, I wasn't ready to like do nothing. So I got a part-time job in a public library where I am now at um, Peninsula Public Library, mm-hmm. um, which added to what I love to do because now I was working at the reader's desk, mm-hmm. working with adults, where I got to sit and talk about books more, yeah. which was amazing. Um, and someone asked me recently, like, what was it like working with children as opposed to now I could work, you know, working with adults. And my goal for everybody is just to read. Mm-hmm. So as long as somebody finds pleasure and joy in reading, that's, you know, that's what it's all about. Um, you know, I mentioned I have another show, Secrets of Success, and one of the keys there is to do what you love. From what I'm hearing and, and the smile on your face, you do what you love every day. I do. 
I do. When I started working at the public library, um, it was like, I mean, I, I went to work to talk about books. I mean, mm -hmm. th that's a great thing. And now a really nice thing happened uh, about two weeks ago. My assistant director, she said to me, why don't we do a book display featuring Renee's Reading Club? Ah. So I did. So I posed the question on my site, um, uh, people to recommend their books favorite book of all time and the book that stayed with them the most. And so I don't know how many responses I got. I, well over 2,000 responses wow. to that. And then my assistant director compiled the list and we just put the display up and there's a sign up that says books that I have loved from Renee's Reading Club. And so it's nice to get, you know, that recognition and uh, have my own display in our library now. That so, is something that I would be so I yeah, want to so see So if you're that. ever in Lawrence at Peninsula Public Library, Lawrence. you could come see my like Display yeah, there. that yes. sounds right up my alley. <laughs> so it sounds like you, you know, you've always been into books and reading, right? Oh, I've always been an avid reader. Um, like I said, you know, even, you know, I was always that person people came to for me to recommend books. And even now, like I haven't been to the gym. I stopped going. I still work out, but mm -hmm. I haven't been to this so-called gym since COVID. Mm -hmm. And I still have people that text me, hey, Renee, I'm going on vacation. I need this kind of read. And like, I have to break it down. Yeah. Like they go, oh, I want a light read or I want historical fiction or I want something light and breezy to read on the beach. And like, you know, and I'll send them lists, you know, because they still know that I'm going to give them, you know, those books they want to read. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so I know that we, when we were trying to get you on the show, we, we went into the Facebook group and we posted um, to get your attention saying, hey, can you come on the show? Right. And that post got hundreds <laughs> of comments from your, your group members saying, yes, come on, Renee, let's go. Let's go do this. Yeah. It's, um, these members are passionate, right? My members are great. Yeah. My, I really have, like, there are certain members that really stand out, even though there's that number, you know, and then I'll run into someone and they'll go, you know, I'm more of a stalker, not a talker, <laughs> meaning they, they don't uh -huh. post. Yeah. They just come on the site and they want to see what's going on and they go, I'm on, on your site, but I don't really comment, you know, I yeah. just want to see what's going on. But the, I mean, I wake up to comments like, or posts like t people telling me, how grateful they are, oh. um, how I've gotten them back into reading. Really? Or, you know, or I, I haven't read a book in two years, and then I discovered all these authors and books on your site. And then I get people that tell me the impact I've had on their lives. And, you know, and I sit back and I, I don't realize what I'm doing for people, but, you know, people really appreciate it. And, and I love hearing from my members, not just in a post, you know, ones who seek me out and send me like a private message, because mm -hmm. um, I get those also. And it's just, it's just really nice and gratifying to get that feedback back from people. Absolutely. All from an idea. All, all from an beach. idea. And exactly. All from sitting on the beach and just saying, I think I'm going to start a reading club. And, yeah. And just having the yeah. know, courage to go do it. Yeah. Wow. So it's been it's been a nice ride. <laughs> Stacey, I think a tagline, I just heard Renee say it. Basically, a tagline for your club is stalkers welcome. <laughs> so it, well, <laughs> it'll bring stalkers. people in. Right. Well, we don't tell them that. We just say right. stalkers welcome. Right. And then you're going to get a lot of people coming in. Now, other than stalkers, who's your target person? You know what? We do have mostly females in the group. I don't know why that is. Um, my husband's in the group, though. <laughs> and my husband, I turned into a reader. So that's really good. Good for you. He used to read, you know, just the, the newspaper or Sports Illustrated. But now he's reading books. And he's reading one of my favorite authors uh, this month, William, Ke William Ken Kruger. And, um, and I've had, I had him on the site about two weeks ago. We'll talk about my authors coming on to visit. But um, we don't have that many men on. Men on. Mostly, uh, mostly females mm -hmm. and mostly... I'm not going to say an age bracket because we have all different ages. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, recently, I, recently, about a year ago, all of a sudden, I saw a whole bunch of my daughter's friends join, and they're in their 30s. And mm -hmm. like, and my daughter told me she goes, "So and so joined, so and so joined," and then one of her friends said to her, "You know, your mom's Facebook famous." Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, I, I guess. You know. <laughs> well, you know, the other person when I think of a book club. Who's that lady on television? I think her name is Oprah. Is she famous? Did she ever make uh, yeah. it in the big time? Uh, uh, yeah. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? I'm trying to get to Oprah a little. You know, I'm trying to get to Oprah. I'm trying to get to Jenna Hager, you know, mm -hmm. Jenna Bush. But it's... Got to be on the Today Show. Yeah, it's, yeah she, I, <laughs> I'm a fan. But, um, but you know, but I, I am connected to... Not connected, but I've made a relationship with Mary Calvi on Channel 2 because she runs a book group now. Mm -hmm. So I want to get to, like, Mary to get to, like, Oprah because yeah. Oprah has, like, things with, you know... Uh, yeah. But... But, um, but we'll see. One, one day, day, right? One, one day. One day. We'll yeah. see what happens as so, things are. Uh, where are your members from? That's a good question. Are they all from around here or are they everywhere? So we have members. Um, so I started doing about two, three years ago around the new year. 
like um, a check-in of where people are from. And I just say, instead of saying ha- just Happy New Year, say Happy New Year and tell me where you're from. Mm-hmm. So we do have someone in every single state in the United States, which cool. we've had for a while. And now we have members all over the world, probably in about 20 countries. Um, we have a very pr- big presence in Israel. Um, I think because the area where I live in is, I don't want to say religious, but they have a lot of family that lives in Israel. Mm-hmm. So we have, um, there's a lot of members in Israel. I just got some of my first member the other day from Argentina. Yeah. And I posted that on the site and everybody was like, but she reached out to me then. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I'm like having a conversation with somebody with, in Argentina right now. That is cool. And I have one author that I'm really friendly with who lives in New Zealand. And um, she's filmed, she's done Facebook Lives on my site from New Zealand and actually I have um, Naomi Reagan is coming on in two weeks from his uh, filming from Israel on the site so it is pretty incredible I say like one day I'll have to do like you know like a country uh, USA book tour and go visit somebody like in every state or something yeah. I bet they would love to meet you well uh, and the, connect. Uh, I would love well we one of my tag my tagline for my book club is sharing books connecting readers and um, I love that yeah and that is I have that on like my, on my book bags, on my tote bags, on my business cards, and which I made, yeah. just made up business cards. I was like, I have business cards now. That's cool. But um, but I I just I there was a little blurb that somebody had posted one day that she was in a bookstore in Omaha and she was looking for books and someone said, "Are you in a book club?" And she goes, "No, I belong to Renee's Reading Club," mm. and that was in a bookstore in Omaha. Wow! And like you know, when someone posted that to share it, and I was like, "Wow!" You know, it's. You're getting more and more famous as we're talking to you. Here, so. I, I, you know what? Because things get come... autographs. <laughs> I know, right now. <laughs> let me let me take a minute to remind our listeners that you are listening to my hometown on the voice of Nassau Community College, ninety point three WHPC. My name is Stacy Rain here with Bill Haran, and today we are learning about Renee's Reading Club, an online group on Facebook with over fifty thousand members who love everything about books and reading. Our guest today is the creator of the group, Long Islander Renee Weingarten. Renee, what do you if you're talking to a new member, a prospective member, what do you say you offer to them? Is this a social experience or uh, well, it's a reading? Cl- it's a reading club site where you're going to get, I'm going to say, the best book recommendations on Facebook because mm-hmm. um, I can say that. Yeah. But um, we really try to keep it a positive site. Um, we try and keep it respectful towards our members. Um, we try to keep politics off. I mean, if mm-hmm. that happens, it gets removed. Um, we try, you know, uh, there's no author bashing. There's no book bashing. I'm, v- I'm, very, I'm very protective of my authors that mm-hmm. come on because we do have, I, I don't know the number, but we have many many, many authors that are on the site. And I, I, I would never want anyone to say something that's going to, you know, hurt an author or anything like that. Um, but when people come on the site, they're also going to get a lot of, the site has a lot to offer besides the book recommendations. Um, we have every Tuesday night, I'm going to say, I'd say just about every Tuesday night at seven o'clock, we have, um, we have authors come on for Facebook Live events. Oh, cool. And um, the authors come on, they talk about their book. And the way Facebook Live works, you know, we see them and they don't see us. Mm-hmm. But the, they, we, the uh, members can engage with comments. So the authors usually stay on for about a half hour to 45 minutes mm-hmm. um, to talk to our members. And we've had uh, authors that have gotten, you know, a few hundred comments uh, or views to 2,000 views. Wow. Um, they'll be like, uh, who is on, like when Lisa Scottaline comes on or William Ken Kruger, who I mentioned before, um, those are some really big names that come on and they've gotten over 2000 views and I'm like, oh my God, you know, and then I usually keep it on the site for a little bit so anyone can view it like after, mm-hmm. um, people also, um, I put out monthly book release, um, announcements. Mm-hmm. So every month I'll put a post up about books that are coming out for the month. So I've been told from members that they don't even look at the New York Times book review anymore. Mm -hmm. They'll just take my list and bring it with them to the library or the bookstore and, you know, go look for those books. Oh, Um, that's great. Yeah, I do do a lot of book giveaways um, connected with um, a couple of public relation people, Mm -hmm. you know, with books and stuff, and I get book giveaways. Sounds like tons of fun. It it is. You know, I started doing some author luncheons. Mm -hmm. We just had a really big author luncheon back in October, which was amazing. It was actually at my beach club because oh, cool. um, that's Sun Atlantic Beach Club. We have a venue there mm-hmm. which overlooks the uh, ocean. And we also were very lucky. It was October and we had a gorgeous day. And we had Linda Loigman there as um, as our author. And it was we had 75 members come. Obviously, members I hadn't met. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, you know, some were 
people I had met, but so many I had, and they couldn't wait to come to meet me. And um, yeah, so that that was really nice. Uh, and um, yeah, and what else? On Fridays, I always do a weekend post oh, cool. um, as a rounds up for the week, and just wishing everyone a good weekend. Um, yeah. And uh, so there's no, you're not assigning books every. No, week. we don't assign books. Yeah. Um, that's the beauty of it, and that's like I was saying to you earlier. Um, I've never been in an actual reading club, book club, because mm-hmm. I really do like to read what I want to read, and and I just. I don't want to be tied into a book. Mm-hmm. I do have my goal, which I'm definitely going to meet this year. Mm-hmm. I, you know, good reads. You could cal- you could yeah. keep your goals, your goals of reading, and uh, I always put eighty. So, oh, wow. I'm just finishing Woo! my eightieth book for the year. So, uh, so yeah. I, I will reach my goal. I'll probably get a little bit over, which always makes me happy. Wow. Um, but so, Renee, I want to speak for Stacy and myself. I think we both want to be you. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you enjoy, you're beaming, you I, love what you're doing. I do. You're famous, you're the Taylor Swift of the librarians <laughs> of the world. And what more could someone ask for? I mean, to enjoy every day and be this happy doing it, plus reading the books. And I'm sure you get a few books for free in there. I, I, I do. It, I love getting book mail. That, oh, that's that. Book mail is too. like, you know, and it, someone, someone will come on and send, you know, they'll send me a private message. Hey, Renee, even a debut author, and I love reading debut authors. What, is it, what does that mean? Uh, that's an author writing their first book oh that's cool. okay yeah and they'll send me hey i just wrote this book i'd love for you to read it and you know and and then i'll always post the book on the site you mm-hmm. know and just give them a plug and you know and because it, it, it's nice it's why not give us someone that push you know yes. and it's usually someone that he has been recommended to me mm-hmm. that they might have another author in the group that i'm friendly with but i was he wanted to go back to the facebook live for a minute mm-hmm. um it was, it was crazy. We started Facebook Lives at the start of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. You know, I had my first author, which I'll forever be, you know, she'll always be special to me, Brenda Janowitz, mm-hmm. another local Long Island author. Um, and we did a, an event together Thursday before the world shut down. Mm. And she said to me, she goes, Mary, I'm going to come on your site and I'm going to go live. I'm going, okay, but like, what does that mean? You yeah, know, like, yeah. I, I said, do I have to do anything? She goes, no, just tell your members that I'm coming on live. And I then love I'll, that. Yeah. I love that. So I did that and I was like, wow, this is like amazing. And now yeah. she's been on like so many times since. Yeah. But, um, and it was like my start. And I said, wow, if I could do this with her, I could do this with like, and that's how we started doing our Facebook lives. I love how there's always people that come in and out of your lives that just kind of push you in the direction you're supposed to go in. You know yeah, what? Oh, that's it, so cool. It's true though, because the direction I'm in right now, I yeah. never would have thought like I'd be here six years later after starting this. And I just wanted to mention, and also, we started. I started um, a sister site to this, which uh-huh. isn't as big. I'm going to say not as big. It's only got 6,200 members. Oh. It's mm. called RRC Book Discussion because mm-hmm. members wanted a place where they can ask. There are no spoilers on Renee's Reading Club. Oh, they wanted a place where they could where really they get can, in the meat of it. And say, you know, this happened at the end of the book. Can someone, like, explain? Yeah. Or, you know, it's dragging a little bit in the middle. Do you think I should finish? Or you know, more specific type questions. So I started RRC book discussion just for that purpose. Mm -hmm. And it's working. Yeah. You know, it's working with 6,200 members. Right. So. Oh, that sounds Renee and Stacey, I just have to tell you, when you talk about getting all those books, early in my other show, this was 30 years ago, I received a book in the mail where the subtitle was, this book blows the top off the upholstery industry. (laughs) (laughs) And it was as bad as the title sounded. Uh, I mean, by page two, it was like, I can't believe it It was like a third grader writing, honestly. Do you ever get a book like that? Oh, my gosh. I'm on page two, and it feels like I've been reading it for a year. Yeah, but I've... I've, She wouldn't put it on the website. No, no, you you are 100% right. Positive only. And when people do that... You know, I'll, my husband will be sitting there. I go, I can delete this, right? You know, because like, you know, and after I've had two glasses of wine, I always check with him. I say, ah. I can delete or not say this, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, because some and you know, I always have this thing in my head. If you can't say this to someone's face, don't put it on my page. Yeah, don't you know? put it anywhere. Really. Or if you don't have something nice to do say, yeah. just, just just don't, don't say, say it. it. You know, Nobody but I have learned that. to put books down that yeah. I'm yeah. not loving. But that I just did that for the first time the other yeah. day. I'm not even gonna tell you what it was because we're not talking about negative stuff, you know. Oh, but it and is. It was, it was hard, hard in the beginning that. When I started this, because as I said, it's a book recommendation site that not everybody loved every book that I loved. Ah, and I was like, I was personally like, offended. I was like, I don't understand. How could they not love that book? Yeah. You know, that was like the best book, you know. But uh, Well, let me remind our listeners that you are listening to My Hometown on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. My name is Stacy Rain here with Bill Horan. And today we are learning about Renee's Reading Club, an online group on Facebook with over 50,000 members who love everything about books and reading. Our guest today is the creator of the group, Long Islander, Renee Weingarten. 
Renee, are there certain types of books that the audience, your audience and your members keep coming back for? You know what? They, uh, the members really seem to flock to historical fiction books. Really? That seems okay. to be a major genre that people like love to read. Um, I'm going to say mysteries also and thrillers. Um, people always like a good memoir. But historical fiction, because I think you're getting a lot out of those books, and there are just so many being written today. Um, you know, and people could go on, you know, at the site and ask for a specific time periods. They could go on and ask for specific books by authors. I just read this book by, I'm going to say, just Kristen Hanna, who writes historical fiction. And, mm -hmm. you know, what else should I read from her? And we get questions like that, like, all the time. And um, but they could come on. I mean, people come on for sci ask, ask for science fiction books, which isn't you know science. I don't do science fiction, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So you know. So but um, it, you could find anything, anything okay. you're looking for, and and the members are all helping each other out. They it's not are, just you. It's, it's, it's exactly everyone. which okay. is great because a lot of things. Because you know, I've gotten to the point where I say to myself, Renee, you don't have to answer that one. Yeah. You know, but I always like to have my presence known. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, because I'm on the site a lot. Like this is a long time for me <laughs> not, to not be looking at to it. To not be looking at it. You know, when I go more like. Like, look at us, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look how you rate. <laughs> I'm not looking at my phone right now. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, hope my, my members are behaving. <laughs> but hopefully they are. Oh, we know they're, they're positive. Listening, oh, they behave. Oh, yeah, they're, they're right. Hopefully they're behaving because you know sometimes you know sometimes you have to be an administrator. Yeah. You know, which yeah, I didn't know it's hard. something else. I didn't know I had to do. You know, yeah. but when you have you know over fifty thousand people that you're dealing with, you're going to get. Someone that might get, I'm going to say, a little snarky or yeah. whatever. But for the most part, people will come on my site and say, you run the nicest site on Facebook. Which I love. Like, that makes me want to be a part you know, of it. You want it to, I want it to be positive. You want it to be nice. You want people to be respectful. I mean, look, I mean readers are nice people. Yeah. They really are. And yeah. I feel like I'm growing this community of people, of members, of readers. And I didn't mention before, we've had book clubs, actual book clubs, that are formed from my reading site. Oh, cool. Uh, which has been like really nice also. Um, and it was interesting. I had an author say, which I never looked at it, and she said, you know, I, sh she used this, and I'm just paraphrasing, that I saw a space that was like needed and mm -hmm. it was out there and the magic just happened. Yeah. And that's how I feel sometimes that it just, you know, there was a need and now it just is happening. Yeah. But I, I think you are the magic though. I mean, the, if, if I did that, I could see the same space and nothing would happen. <laughs> And well, yeah, and the, you, the way you, that she you're, you're managing it, and making it a place where people can come and get positive stuff, right? But still, things that are that matter to them. You know, I think that's exactly, really cool. exactly. And it is it is really fun when I do meet members like randomly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it it's it's just very. It's like you know, I was online in a store one day talking to a friend, and the person overheard us talking, and she goes, "You're Renee." Yeah. Like, <laughs> like in like she was like she had to take a picture with me, and I'm ah. like. <laughs> See, like, I told you, yeah, Taylor Swift. No, yeah, Taylor Swift. I, I know. I've had people want, like, you know, when people have a friend at the beach, you know, visiting from somewhere, and they're like, Renee, do you mind if, like, we just take a picture? And I'm like, it's fine, you know? Yeah. But I'll tell you one other beach story, though. So when I, I I'm a diehard beach person. I'm mm -hmm. South Shore born, bred, everything, and my life is played as RW Beach. Nah. But I'm a diehard beach person. So when I'm in my beach chair, I'm looking this way. At 1.30, because I know this because I'm a beach person, the sun turns and I can look that way. Mm -hmm. And I get more private reading time at the end of the day than I do at the beginning of the day. Because mm -hmm. people just want to talk to me. And we had a cabana boy, new cabana boy this summer. And he said, you know, I knew about your reading club, but I didn't know, like, the extent. Everybody, like, talks to you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, that's, you yeah. know, I keep a sign up by the cabana Renee's reading club. And my, my oh, little fun. Facebook logo. Yeah. Yeah, this I is... keep books in my cabana. I have a shelf of books that people need, like, came to the book and forgot their, came to the beach and forgot their book. Yeah. You know, they could always borrow one from me. Renee, are you ever off? I mean, honestly. No, I'm so, never off. It sound, no, um, you sound um, like the good old school doctor yeah. who now, of course, he or she wasn't contacted I'm, I'm never, continually. I'm never off. But, uh, I, and it's like, you know, when I, when I go to visit my granddaughter, I say, okay, I am not looking at my phone the whole time I'm with her, you know, because I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm never off sometimes. But, but it's okay. It, it's, it's what I love to do. As I said, it, it, it's my passion. We're building this community of readers. And and people love books. Yeah, you know, people readers really love to read, and people love books, and it's and I enjoy doing it. So, you, I, it, again, oh you, well, she, she's mentioned some of her um, favorite authors she has. So I am just dying to know: Do you have a favorite book of all time? Or I mean, you can also say author, but like, what is it? Because I'm writing it down. So I, 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 I know. Out. You know what? It's really a hard question, mm -hmm. and I really I, I hate going to that question. Yeah, I like to talk about genres. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a historical fiction reader. You know, mm -hmm. a thriller reader. 
Um, my first grown-up book that has always stayed with me was A Stone for Danny Fisher. Okay. You know, that book never went away, you know, and uh, Keen and Abel is up there as one of my favorites. And I just read, um, you know, Jeffrey Archer is just such a, such a good author. You know, he's an amazing author. Um, and it's just... I, there are just so many. It's hard to pick. It, yeah, it, it, there's it's so hard, many. It, it's hard to pick. There and you're reading so 80 books a, a year, so you are. Yeah, you got a lot it, to choose there's, from. There's a lot to choose from, but um, but I try to switch it up because after you've read some heavier books, you know, you really need to break it down, break yes. it up, and read something like lighter. And uh, you know, I've come to enjoy those books too because yeah. they're fun. Yeah. You know, like why not read a fun book where boy meets girl mm-hmm. and like they have a little interesting something going on in the middle mm-hmm. and then you end up smiling at the end with tears running down your face so yeah. it's <laughs> it's fun yeah Ooh, really, there's so many questions we want to ask you i mean especially as readers yeah as they see myself but i i want to make sure our audience hears this if someone say i want to be part of this now i want to meet this renee person how do they do it how do okay, they get well in touch you have to be club? on facebook okay okay that's number one and all you have to do is search Renee's, R-E-N-E-E-S, Renee's Reading Club on Facebook and just click join. And mm-hmm. it's as simple as that. And then and how, how often are there meetings? Monthly, weekly, they, daily? There's no set meetings. The okay. only thing they might be interested in, like I said, is the Facebook Lives on Tuesday nights. And mm-hmm. I post that like a few times during the week. And I already I always make up a monthly schedule so people can see that. Um, and other than that, it's just postings that come up daily. You know, because I'm I'm putting a post up every day. Like I will post about our little interview today. Yeah. But um, now, do your fans have you know wait, what do they call Taylor Swift's fans or Swifties? Swifties. Do they uh, wear shirts with you? They don't. I'm know? just starting to think about some gear you or gotta whatever. Market. You got to market. But um, I just made tote bags, which I'll show you later. Oh, okay. which cool. I, which, like I, books. which unfortunately I, I gave away. Yeah. My no, it was included in everything yeah. in the but uh, Renee's Reading Club tote bags, which mm-hmm. came out really nice. Oh, uh, cool. My husband helped me design those. So, but they came out really nice. I have bookmarks. Um, um, that's yeah. the extent of it, all right? The, all the book gear. You need that. I, yeah. I, I need book gear, you yeah. know. But um, <laughs> And what about in-person events? Or, or what, I know Like I mentioned- said, we just had this in-person event. And as after I finished, it was it was truly, it was so successful. Mm-hmm. I mean, everyone had a great time. They loved what they took home. Linda Lloydman was a great author to have. Um, so when we walked out, I said to the, the person who plans the parties, I said, let's pick the date for next year. And yeah. I'm going to make that a yearly, uh, that's going to be a yearly event down at uh, Sunny Atlantic Beach Club in October. Um, but also I have in my head that I think on Long Island, there's a need for a Long Island book festival. Ooh, and, yeah. Ooh. And, I'm coming, I'm coming. Me yeah, too. and I have a lot of authors that would be interested. It's only in the talking stage right yeah. now, but it's something I would love to do. They have them all over, and yeah. I just don't see anything for Long Island authors that would be local, either doing it on a college campus or doing it at a venue. Yes. But I think that we would get a really... Uh, now I need sponsors. But no. yeah. We'll get but, them um, for you. Renee, when yeah. it's this much fun, the time goes too quickly. And yeah. before our director yeah. cuts us off, okay. I want our audience to know we've been talking to Renee Weingarten. She is the creator of the online Facebook group, Renee's Reading Club. Renee, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank Thank you you so much. This has been amazing. And just uh, read a good book today. There you go. (laughs) I'm Bill Rand. I'm here with Nassau Community College student Stacey Rain. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of My Hometown. We'd like to get your feedback on My Hometown. Send your comments to whpc at ncc.edu. Nassau Community College, where success starts and continues. Till next time, this is Bill St. James. And remember, there's no town like your hometown.